Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with Sherry Braised Beef Short Ribs. There's an old culinary chestnut that says, the closer the bone, the sweeter the meat. And when it comes to short ribs, very good bone proximity to meat. So that's why they're so delicious. All right, but before we get to the beef, we got to do some bacon. So I got a few slices of bacon that I just diced up, and I'm going to cook on medium heat until crisp. In the meantime, salt and pepper generously eight beef short ribs, about three and a half pounds. When the bacon's done, put it in your Dutch oven, but leave the oil, the fat, in the pan. Turn it to high and brown very well your beef short ribs. I'm talking brown, crusty, caramelized beef. Throw that on top of the bacon. We're going to add some sprigs of fresh thyme, one bay leaf. All right, leave the pan with the fat. Turn the heat down to medium. Throw in a diced onion. We're going to caramelize that on medium heat until golden brown. All right, I'm going to stir in three or four cloves of minced garlic just for about 30 seconds. And then I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of flour. By the way, I was experimenting with the chest cam. Totally didn't work. But anyway... Saute that flour in the onions and garlic for a couple minutes. It's basically a roux. You know, you know roux, right? I'm going to dump in my sherry wine, not cooking sherry. Don't even think of using cooking sherry. By the way, if you're drinking cooking sherry, you've hit bottom. Time to get some help. All right, so don't drink cooking sherry. Don't do anything with cooking sherry. All right, you're going to pour that in. You're going to stir it. It's going to thicken up. You're going to cook that for two minutes, and then you're going to dump it in to the Dutch oven. To that, I'm going to add some beautiful beef broth. If you can find veal stock, use it. Veal stock, also sometimes called baby cow juice, but I'm using beef broth here. I'm going to give it just a little salt, maybe half a teaspoon, because you never know with the beef broth how salty it's going to be when it reduces. So don't go too nuts with the salt here. Don't forget the beef shore ribs were seasoned pretty well before we even put them in here. Bring that to a simmer, cover, We're going to put it in a 350 degree oven for about two hours. And I say about because I don't know exactly how big your short ribs are. You cook them till a fork goes in, fork tender. All right, remove the short ribs and reduce your sauce a little bit. It might be thick enough. It might not. If you need to reduce it a little, just bring it to a boil. While it's boiling, you can skim off the fat that comes to the center. And then to serve, put your beef in the serving dish, pour over the sauce, and eat. So anyway, there it is, sherry braised beef short ribs, incredibly simple. Sure, it takes a couple hours, but totally worth it. Make sure you get a really good brown sear on the ribs. That is the secret, along with all the other steps. Anyway, all the ingredients are on the site, so go check it out. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.